does the truth matter? Of course, we know it does. But um, I, I want us to think about that because it is absolutely the most critical question that could be asked and answered. To me, uh, life is all about the truth. The truth is the most important thing that exists, the most important reality in the universe. Uh, by the truth, we are saved from hell. By the truth, we are sanctified for the purposes of God. By the truth, we are given strength. We are edified. We are comforted. We are encouraged. It all comes out of divine truth. Living truth, the person of Christ who dwells within us, and written truth, the Word of God. They are perfectly in harmony. So I live for the truth. Every day of my life is to proclaim the truth, make the truth known, to make the truth clear, to fight for the truth, to propagate the truth. That's my life in just summary fashion. So if you ask me, does truth matter? It matters to me more than anything else. And if you're a child of Satan, Satan's a killer, Satan's a liar, you're going to be known for lying. That was true in a truth world. In a post-truth world, the lies have now reached epic proportions to the point that you can't believe anybody who says anything, whether you're talking to a kindergartner or a congressman. You can't believe anything anyone says because truth doesn't matter anymore. You have no reason to believe that what you're hearing is actually true because truth isn't as important to this generation. We, we don't want to cover our wickedness anymore. We, we want to live it out. Most perversions now are acceptable. Lies have become more useful, more important, and in more demand than the truth, which then begs the question, does truth matter? It mattered some to the, the world where people actually thought there was truth, but it still was convenient to lie. Now it's really inconvenient to tell the truth. In fact, it's offensive to tell the truth. And to call someone a liar is the ultimate offense. They need to be allowed to live in their select category of lies, deceit, and untruths. Now there's a basic insanity in all of this, of course. In rejecting the reality of truth, you have sort of placed yourself in an irrational, rather insane situation. Because the entire universe operates on fixed truth. Absolutely. Inflexibly. Fixed truth rules the physical universe. The laws of nature, the laws of science, or better yet, the physical laws of God are inviolable. You can test them. Jump off a building. Gravity will work. It doesn't matter if you don't believe in it, it'll work anyway. A truth it, written in the fabric of the created world. That, that is basic intelligence. That is rational thinking. That is what has been built into every human mind, according to Romans 2. We have the law of God written in the heart. And part of that law is the rational understanding of cause and effect based upon fixed laws. All rational people care about the laws, nature, and science. They care greatly about them. They do everything they can to insulate themselves from the harm that violating those laws will bring. But when it comes to the moral and the spiritual part of reality, the world of sinners is eager to split that reality reality and believe in absolute truth in the physical world, but reject it in the moral spiritual world. They are secure in that insanity for one primary reason, and it is this. Consequences of violating spiritual and moral law are not as immediate as the consequences of violating natural law. You could be a perverted homosexual for 30 years and still be alive. You can't jump off a 10-story building and be alive any longer than it takes you to hit the ground. It hurts so much, you know. But it's okay, I'm used to it. But it's okay. Gotta say God bless you.